Hi Flyers, Sun Moons, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to be looking at your current connection, in particular the future of your current connection and what's coming up around you as an overall energy and we'll use the Rider Waite deck to investigate that in a little bit more detail. Now before I begin, I really want to say thank you for popping in. It's always a pleasure doing these readings for you guys. I hope you enjoy them. Um, now look, this can be for Aries Sag Leo if you have that heavy placement in your birth chart. Um, if you're uh, dealing with an Aries Sag or Leo, this message can be for you. It's quite a broad message, but there might be bits and pieces that resonate. So please remember that. Um, don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it and you'd like to see more content. Um, otherwise, let's pull out a card using the Soul Cards Tarot to see um, what's the overall message here. What's the overall theme of the future of this connection? Okay, so we have the King of Swords. This is a very powerful compatibility or a mutual understanding or your ability to communicate with each other much better than you previously thought possible. So straight away, this is all about communication. Could be an air sign coming in. Um, if not, it's about the way we think and it's about the way we speak and what's communicated. Now, um, this is very powerful. You can see the sword is upside down. Okay, so it's like an upside down sword. Um, and it's almost like we see this crown here and this figure with arms. Now, when, when something is, when the sword is stuck in the ground, it says that things are cemented. Things that were spoken, things that were said, they're going to be followed through. And this is very powerful because I feel like the things that you might be talking about with your person, the things you may be planning, fire signs, it's like you're going to cement it. You're going to follow through with what it is, with the plans that you're making. It's not just going to be all talk. And this is really wonderful, particularly for those that haven't, you know, your person has been all talk, no action. Um, this is about to shift, okay? So whether it's you that needs to pull up your socks and do that, or it's your person, either way, it's happening. The King of Swords shows better communication as well. So I'm seeing a lot, of, a lot more talk about the future, um, a lot more opening up being vulnerable, um, communicating better, okay, this is maybe eliminating things like being immature, um, blocking, you know, not being available for your person, some sort of disconnection, I think that's about to change. Um, the King of Swords, it can rule friendship, so for some of you that have recently parted with someone, the future of that connection could be that there is news coming, that there is communication coming, so for those out there that are hopeful of that happening, um, it's very likely that that could take place. Let's pull out... Um, a few more cards and see though. Okay, so what do we have? Okay, Seven of Swords. I feel like the future of this connection depends on you calling someone out for their behavior or them calling you out. There's been potentially a lot of tiptoeing or avoiding of some sort of issue um, and that needs to be addressed. That needs to be confronted here with the magician. If you let it rest and you don't say anything with the four of swords, it's going to continue to happen. So there is an unspoken truth or there's something that's been avoided. You haven't told, you haven't communicated, it could even be a secret or this is from your person, but it's almost like the future of this connection is riding on it. I sense like there might even be a little bit of pressure um, to make that happen. And the seven of cups could be that pressure, that overwhelming energy that we're seeing, that, that emotional uncertainty. Okay. So I feel like right now, the universe may be putting you into alignment with this person. It's almost like giving you the green light, the go ahead. This connection is for you. You need to explore it. You need to love it. You need to nurture it. But a part, there's, there's a part here with the seven of cups that makes me feel you're either reserved or you're hesitant in this connection. Now, there's obviously care and love for this person or the queen of cups wouldn't show up. Okay, so I can see that you do care. Um, but with the, uh, I'm getting the vibe that you're either too, you've put too much pressure on this connection or you want things to happen too quickly than they can. Because some of you want this instant manifestation. It's come up with a magician. So you want it and you want it bad. You want it and you want it now. You want it yesterday. Um, and some of that might not be happening. And yes, it's disappointing and it's frustrating. But for some of you, it's like throwing you into this like, oh, well, what do I do now? Or what are my other options? And it may not be the best way to go through it. Um, the overall energy is, t is, is, is telling you to talk about it to plan it, to discuss it. 
um, to open yourself up to it because this this is what's going to take you the distance. This is what's going to take you further um, in this connection. I do feel like I'm getting a strong ex. The Ace of Cups is renewal. For those that have been single and you've sort of laid a connection to rest, I'm getting a vibe that this person is coming through. Possibly a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Air or Aries. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or an Aries coming through, a fellow Aries um, for those watching. Um, and they're coming through very strongly. So I'm getting a vibe that someone may want a future reconnection. There is a possibility of a rebirth happening here with the Ace of Cups. Um, overall, there were the Seven of Swords and the Four of Swords. It's telling me that I'm getting a bit of like game playing here. So someone's treading lightly. They're trying to play it cool. They're, they're either walking on eggshells or feel they have to walk on eggshells. Um, and this, you know, this is very important because I feel like that needs to be addressed now. Otherwise, it will never be addressed. It's almost like, and maybe that's where the pressure is coming from. It's like, you've got to do it now. It's, it's now or never. And like, okay, that's intense. That's, that's a lot of pressure to put on the connection, to put on a person, to have that pressure maybe put on you. It's a lot. And... You know, maybe you need to slow things down here. Um, but overall, for some of you, I do feel like the Seven of Swords or the Four of Swords, some of you are going to walk away from a connection. Um, and I feel like that's because there's been too much lying, too much deception, too much manipulation. There's only so much you can handle. And it's been a repetitive thing. It, it's not like it happened maybe once or twice. I think it happened more than twice, thrice even. Like it's happened so many times and you've come to this stage where it's like, you know what, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let go and let God with the Ace of Cups. I'm going to heal. This is internal healing. So some of you may be taking a break from, from this connection, four weeks, four days, four months maybe. I um, mean, it's something that you need to figure out, I think, especially seeing that, like I said, you care and there's love and there's attachment. Absolutely. But I feel with the Seven of Cups, it's overriding all that energy. It's sort of crowning the reading as the last card. Um, talk to them about it. Tell them, tell them where you're at, tell them where you're feeling, tell them if you're feeling disoriented, they're going to listen, they'll be receptive. And if they're not, then, you know, how much respect do they have for you if they're not doing that? But I feel like they're, they, for the most part, they will listen. They want to be attentive. They want to hear you out. And I think they're genuinely going to try to be receptive and be accommodating to you where they can. I can't say a lot of them are going to be pleased to know that you might want to take time away or ease back a little bit. Um, but I feel like for some, for half of you at least, maybe that, that has been happening for so long and it's just become a repetitive cycle and you already know what's going to happen, how it's going to go. Um, and I think, you know, with the King of Swords, it's showing me you've made up your mind. You're in such a powerful mental energy that anything you're going to think about doing, you're going to follow through with it. It's going to be cemented. You're going to execute it um, via signs. So really powerful reading for you. Um, I'll leave it at that though. So thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Um, otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you very, very soon. So uh, take care and bye for now.